All right, so I want to make this video. This is a, a, a cool experience I had this morning. And um, I was looking at like how people have conversations. So what happened was uh, I was just picking up raw milk from our neighbors. They got a cool operation out here. And my wife and I, uh, we love raw milk. We're getting a cow in the fall, but for now we just go to our neighbors. And um, it's funny because one of the guys, right when we get there, you know, there's a bunch of us picking it up. And one of the guys goes, uh, yeah, hey, how's, how's the weather? And it was funny because where I come from, you know, I was born in the city, whatever. It's like, you just say, how's the weather is like this very surface level question. But what was funny is because everyone there's like farmers and, you know, a lot of us do stuff outdoors because we have land and we're like using the land for, for purposes. That question, how's, how's the weather? It's actually like really important because <laughs> it will literally dictate your whole day. Like the guy was telling me how he, uh, he's like, he's like, yeah, I freaking hate the mud because it makes everything take 10 times longer. And he's like bailing hay and you know, they take care of a bunch of livestock and animals and everything. And I was just looking at that. I was like, wow, so funny because I'm part of some other groups that are like really, you know, entrepreneurial type where, you know, uh, they're really into like self-improvement. And one of the guys who runs it, he has this, it's kind of joke, but he said, uh, yeah, the one rule at our events is no one's talking about the weather, you know, which, which it, it's cool. Like I see his, his starting point within it is, Hey, he, cause he wants to have deep conversations with people, right? He wants people to talk about what are their challenges? What are their goals? Um, it's just so funny to me. Cause I'm like, you could actually take that question of how's the weather and it can turn it into this whole thing and you could actually like really connect with someone on it. So yeah, I'm, I'm making this now because here's a really helpful way that I've seen conversations and I've built myself like a massive network over the past 10 years of, of being uh, an entrepreneur, going out there and just learning how to build my own business. And what I've found is there's like levels of conversation and there's, there's two ways of looking at it. One is I'm looking to actually like I want to genuinely connect with a person and understand like what is going on within them just because that's who I am. Like I don't like shallow conversation with people. I'll do some chit chat, you know, here and there, but it's really not like it. That, that's not, that's not life to me. That's just like bullshit, like get past the time. Um, and so one is on a personal level, but two is on a actual like practical level in, in order to like do business and, um, provide value to people and introduce people and build yourself a proper network of people in terms of like the world system, right? So, um, here's a, here's a new way of looking at it that I've never heard really anyone talk about or put it into, um, put in the words. So there's this, like a school of thought of there's like levels of conversation, right? You have like surface level and then you have deeper, uh, but then there's like this, this third level where this is like where people actually start to, to uh, express what's going on inside them. And a lot of times you won't be able to get there with people. Like think, you know, if you're, I don't know, going to some holiday with family, it's typically like levels one and two. You're not really going deeper into like, hey, how did that affect you? How is your life changing? What, you know, how do you, how do you interpret that? How do you feel about that? That kind of thing. And I mean like a genuine, not like some bullshit like, oh, how does this make you feel, right? Or how do you feel about this politician? It's like, no, like actually, when you're looking at your life and these challenges you're facing, like what's coming up for you, that level of conversation. And so the, that, that's nothing new, right? There are people who talk about this. They assess like, Hey, levels of conversation and how deep can you go with people and all that? Um, and you know, it's an art form and it's something to, to be aware of. I mean, it's super helpful, but that's a limited way of looking at it. That's still looking at it as separation. That's still looking at it as, as something that's like out there where you got to like kind of work with someone and follow a framework and shit like that. It's like, now nah, here's how I look at it now. And here's how I suggest you look at it within who you are in every single conversation, no matter what you have that realness, you have that like deepest level conversation. That's your starting point. That's who you are now. In order for you to have a deep conversation, you have to have common sense. Some people cannot have a deep conversation. Like, I had 10 minutes filling up this milk jug. I'm not going to talk to this guy about how that makes him feel or what's coming up for him when he looks at the future of his business as a you know, farmer and 
changes in the economy. Like I'm, I'm not going to be able to get there with him yet as who I am in every single word I spoke to him, I was speaking to the real him. I was figuring out because then I know I'm going to see him again. And what's the next point and the next point. And so it's like, as who I am, I am looking at that person and I'm speaking to the being that's within them and helping pull that out and helping see what is going on in this person. How can I support this person? What can be done to help him and help the family around him? And, you know, see if he's got kids and what the future holds. It's like, that's who I am in any situation. So I don't need to rely on some conversation starter or some script of, oh, how should I talk to a stranger to help make an impact in their life? It's like, no, it's just, that's who I am. But I've developed that over years and years and years. And so for you today and for every day, I'm going to encourage you really, one, develop that communication with yourself. Like, who are you for real? What do you stand for for real? If you don't have a good framework for that, check out Self Perfected. Check out the principles on our website. Just look up self-perfected.com slash principles, P-R-I-N-C-I-P-L-E-S, like in case you don't know how to spell. And that is like a guiding framework. It, it, it's a guiding script, you could say, for you though, for you to understand yourself and what you stand for and what you're about. Because when you have that and you know who you are, you can then develop a certainty in yourself and a certainty that you can change. And so what's what's amazing about that is that when you have that within yourself, you can support others with that too. So when I'm looking at each day, I'll interact with anywhere from 10 people to a thousand people because I'll put myself in environments where I have like my neighbors, my family, like the core group around me. I have my local community. Then I also have the internet. And when I can post a video like this on the internet, you can come through in what you do. Like you can actually influence people around you and the algorithm may or may not promote it, right? You got to know the, the rules of the game, but it is so profound because you have this ability to influence people. And that can cause a chain reaction. And I've seen it time and time again. I'm not just speaking from theory. I'm speaking from what I've seen in my own life. Like, I know people who then introduce me to a group where I now met my wife. And then from that, my wife and I used our connections to other people to then open up new doors and then introduce people and then connect people here. And then again, that's what created this group because the whole starting point of that group is self-perfection, which is self-development to the utmost. And, and building the, the real community that people need, right? But then in that group, we would then add our friends and we would influence them to join and, and participate and, and get on the same page and have these deep conversations. But then as who we are, influencing other people with who they are, they would then get together. And then some of these people have even literally married each other. They have kids, right? And now our kids are becoming friends. So it's like, this is literally how we alter the world. This is literally how we change the world. This is literally how we have the influence that we all deep down want to see the world change. We all deep down know that life sucks for in so many ways for so many people. But it's not that life sucks per se. I'll be careful with my words. It's that the system we've accepted and the system that we've allowed and our patterns suck. <laughs> are not are not the best. And so whether you're talking to your neighbor about the weather or whether you're having a deep conversation with your friend about them making decisions to change their freaking life or you're just having fun hanging out with your son or your daughter and just you know enjoying the moment who you are can come through and there's a depth to that when you have that when you can sit with another person or you know, talk with another person whether they're a stranger or you've known them for 20 years you can pull out of them what's going on within them and it will be the coolest support ever because when you give that support you receive you receive so much more than you can even imagine. So do it. And that way you can see it for yourself.